out of me. And you will. If you love me and you're going off with Maddie someplace, you're lying to me. Because what the hell do I care about the truth? I care if you're there. What Billy Holiday say, hush now, don't explain. All right, I accept that. Of course. All of right, course you lie to me. Because I don't even want to care. What, what does the truth matter? And why are you going to be truthful with me when you lie to everybody else? You lied when you smiled at that cracker down the job, right? Lie to me, smile. Treat me the same way you would treat him. I can't treat you. You must. Treat him. You must. Because I've caught the I've caught the frowns and the anger. He's happy with you. Of course he doesn't know you're unhappy. You grin at him all day long. You come home and I catch hell because I love you. I get least of you. I get I get the very minimum. And I'm saying, you know, fake it with me. Is that too much of the black woman to ask of the black man? Peace, this is King Messiah. So I recently came across this clip and I wanted to get your opinion on do women simply want to be lied to? Um, I mean, I, I thought of all the women that Marcus is going on dates with and they very well know that that Marcus is not going to take them serious, but just the fantasy and, and just just the allure of being with Marcus it allows them to, you know, entertain the fantasy. Um, what is your opinion on on this? Do you think women simply want to live in the lie? Women simply want to be lied to. And also for my younger fan base who's who has been asking me, I don't see anything wrong with what Marcus has done. These are grown women. There's nothing wrong with what Marcus is doing. I want to make this statement for you all. Um, in life, there's always regulations when someone who is in a superior position starts having intimate relations with that person who is in a lower position. OK, I can give you an example. Imagine a person goes to a therapy session. They sit down with the psychologist. They pour their heart out to the psychologist. The, all while the psychologist is writing down this person's most darkest secrets, this person's most vulnerable secret. But that psychologist is literally using that to um, be intimate with that person. OK, that's a violation. In any profession, if a police officer pulls over a vulnerable young woman it is against the law for that police officer to start having intimate relationships with that person because that police officer is in a dominant position. The person who got pulled over is not back to the therapist. The therapist knows all of that person's darkest secrets. Now, if the therapist was acting in good faith, the therapist would continue to give give the patient proper advice in order for that patient to become strong and to overcome their challenges. That therapist is not going to end that therapy session and go out on a date with that same person who now they know all of their darkest secrets. Now they know all of their most vulnerable, most most vulnerable moments. Because if you if you have intentions, if you want to get into that person's pants, you have everything you need. Is simply not right. So th this is to my young, my young audience, because I had some people leave me comments saying, what about the young audience that you're we don't understand? There's nothing wrong with what Marcus is doing. And in any profession, it's always wrong for a superior to start having intimate relationship with a person who is in a lower position. Now to the listener that says Marcus isn't a psychologist. He's not a police officer. He's just a man with a camera interviewing homeless people. OK, on one note, we can say that, but we all can agree that the nature in which Marcus interviews the homeless people, how he purports himself in his channel, it is very therapeutic and people when they go on his channel, it is a sense of therapy that they receive. So whether Marcus purports himself as a therapist or he doesn't, he's clearly in a superior position because once you go on his page, 
you're going to get money and donations. You're going to get um, exposure to your story. And, you, you know, your life can change for the better. So he's in a position where he can help. So to use all of those things to have an underlining motive of getting in your pants, that's wrong. That's evil. You, you can sleep with anybody in Atlanta. Why do you sleep with the same women who have have so much trauma that you're going to add to their trauma? Now, somebody's going to say these women deserve love too. stop acting like these women are not human beings. Listen, these women deserve love, too. Yes. After they get certain things in order. When you find a woman who was homeless, who was living, who was sleeping in different places, the last thing on that woman's mind should be, I need to, I need some love. It should be, I need stability. See, this is, this is my issue. The last thing that should be on anyone's mind is getting in their pants or you letting a man get in your pants. The first thing should be, I need a stable job. I need a stable house. I need a stable transportation. But for some strange reason, we act as if, oh, no, um, they, they need love. And they need love and Marcus is the one to give it to them. Come on. So I just want to be clear. Although, I mean, and, and if Marcus wants to sleep with these women, I say do either or either sleep with the homeless women or women that are in vulnerable positions and don't interview them or interview them and have a pure heart with no intentions of sleeping with the people you are interviewing. One or the other. But to do both, it discredits your platform. It discredits you as a man. And if it's something that you're not proud to tell your daughters, if it's something that you're not proud to talk to your mom about, you shouldn't be doing it. And you can't make me believe on no planet that you are proud about the actions you have been displaying. And this is from one man to another. Peace.